Okay, so I want to talk today about variables in PHP, in particular string variables in PHP. There's several different ways that we can wrap the characters that make up our string. We can use single quotation marks like this, we can use double quotation marks like I'm doing here, but there's also the here doc and now doc syntax. So I'm going to talk about all four of these and the difference between them and the ways you can combine them and how sometimes they'll do what you want and sometimes they won't. So single quotation marks, the most basic. Bunch of characters, I throw it inside of here. The only thing that will be treated as if it's not text is if I was to put, say, another single quotation mark in here. That will end the string. If I want to put that inside of here, I have to put a backslash character in front of it. Now I'm going to actually get this quotation mark as part of my string. But that's the only exception. Everything else that I put inside of here, it doesn't matter if it's got a backslash in front of it or not, it's not going to be parsed in any way. Coming down to the double quotes, it does the reverse. So anything like a variable, if I was to put str1 like this, that's actually going to be parsed. I can write str1 this way, I can write str1 with the complex syntax. So kind of like uh, template strings in JavaScript. If you put the curly braces around it with a dollar sign in front, then this is the variable name inside of here. This will actually be parsed and converted into this value. We can also put any sort of escape sequence. So if I want to put a backslash, I do that. If I want to put a new line character, if I want to put a carriage return, if I want to put a tab inside of there, we can do that. So there, now I have a tab character with a space on either side of it in the middle of this string. Actually, come over here and there's that apostrophe and here's this space that I added inside of here. We'll come back and talk about this a little bit. Here doc syntax acts the same way as the double quotes. It starts with three arrows, three less than signs, the opening angle bracket from HTML, three of those in a row with no space, and then some sort of identifier. This is like a, a temporary variable name. It's saying, okay, this string, keep everything else that I write from this point on as part of my string until you see this again on the line all by itself followed by this, the semicolon. Now you'll notice here that I've got no spaces in front. This is actually the very front edge here. There's no spaces, no tabs, nothing in front of this. If I were to put something in front of here, even one space, save that, oops, save that, refresh my page, I get an error. It doesn't recognize this as the end of that here doc. So we have to make sure that there's nothing in front of this. That's why it's kind of out of line with everything here. The now doc is going to do the same thing. The difference between here doc and now doc, they both start the same way with the angle brackets and then the identifier and then it ends on its own line. The string doesn't start until after the carriage return here, so this is the entirety of the string. This is the entirety of the string right here. The difference between the two of them is here doc will parse these things, the escape sequences. It'll also parse variables. I can use the complex or the simple syntax for the variables, but they will be parsed. They will be actually turned into what the value is. Now doc doesn't parse it. It treats things like single quotes do. So double quotes parse things, single quotes don't. Here a doc parses things, now a doc doesn't. Now, now a doc, the difference is that you've got the single quotes wrapped around it. You can also write here doc with the double quotes around it, and that will work as well. So I've got four variables, str1, 2, 3, and 4. I've got str1 and 2 inside of the here doc and inside the now doc, and then down here at the bottom, I'm writing them out. My first paragraph is showing up as dollar sign str1. That's because I use the single quotes around the variable. Using the double quotes, it works. I actually see double quotes, which was the value here. Now there's a tab that I put inside of here. It doesn't look like it's appearing here. And that is because in HTML, if I look inside of here, there it is. I actually do have the tab inside of here. 
but it's in the source code. And as you probably know, the source code, any extra white space gets compressed when the HTML is rendered in the browser. So I could have 15 lines of tab characters. They'd be compressed into one single space, which is what's happening here. Okay, so we do have the tabs. They are being rendered into the source of the HTML, but it's not being drawn on the page just because that's the way HTML is held, uh, dealt with. With the now doc, str1, str1, just like the single quotes, the str1, it wasn't parsing it. The here doc, it did parse both. The tab and the quotation mark are showing up here simply because I put them inside of a pre. So this is the predefined text down here at the bottom, or preformatted text rather. So inside of the preformatted text, which is inside of a paragraph tag, we've got str3, which is my hair doc. So these variables were converted from variables into this double space tab space quotes and the single with the quote, uh, with the apostrophe inside of it. So we see both of them here, but we don't with the now doc. And that's it. That's here doc, now doc, single quotes, double quotes. That's all the differences between them. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.